Welcome back. So today is Wednesday. Hope you guys had a great week. Um, let's get right into it. Um, so first up, the rap girls have been beefing back and forth for the last few weeks. But today I'm going to be talking about Nicki Minaj and Lotto. Okay, because that was the most funniest to me. <laughs> now, Nicki Minaj, who has been referring to Lotto as Scratch Off, um, and, and Lotto referred to Nicki as Super Freaky Grandma. Now, both girls were very creative with their name calling. Um, but it all started because Nicki Minaj did not like the fact that her song SFG, which is Super Freaky Girl, was going to be or is going to be um, in the uh, pop category for the Grammys. And she said that, well, if that's the case, then Big Energy should be in the category for pop as well. So in all reality... Um, if, if you guys have ever heard SFG, it's, it's very pop to me. It really is. It feels like a pop song. Big energy to me gives off more of a, um, urbanized feel to it, you know, but that's my opinion. But, um, well, anyway, Lotto got on the internet and, you know, said what she had to say. And so they were going back and forth. Now, Nikki says that the girls always get mad when she declines to do a feature with them, okay? She doesn't do songs with them. And she recently did an interview, and this is what she said. Um, and, and I thought that that was kind of weird, but this is what she said. She said, a lot of people were sending me songs, Jada. I guess she was talking to Jada Pinkett. A lot of people were sending me songs, a lot of female rappers, especially. And I didn't want to be mean, but every other word was pedussy and effing and da 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 da. And I wasn't there. I don't think I can ever fully be there. So basically, she has been declining to do these features because all the girls want to talk about is being sexually explicit. Well, I'm a little confused because that's what SFG is all about. Okay. Um, it's a very explicit song. I mean, it's not kid friendly. It's not drill, you know, um, I don't know what else do you call it, but maybe that's the reason why they are sending, they're sending her stuff that she puts out. I mean, they're not going to send her a drill song. I mean, she doesn't typically do drill. No, that's not Nikki. So they're going to send her what she puts out. Makes sense to me, but Whatever. Maybe Nikki wants them to be a little more creative, you know, like really sit there and write about something, you know, because talking about your stuff all day long, it, it gets boring and it really shows your lack of creativity in your art. It really does. But that's my opinion. Don't worry about it. Anywho, moving on. So Kanye West, he's been in the news and all over everywhere on our blogs, but um, I don't have too much to say about him because I don't really listen to this guy. You know, it's just too much. He's like one of those artists that I see on my timeline and I just keep strolling because I don't really have the time nor the energy to sit there and keep listening to every little thing that he says. And truthfully, I really don't even care. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. So that's that with Kanye. Um, last time I checked, he may be getting sued for over a hundred million. So I don't know. Anyway, move on. Cause I want to talk about this kid named, YK Osiris's or Orsis's. I don't know how he pronounces his name, but it's the, it's the, he, he's the light skinned guy. He really light skinned, seems bubbly, you know, seems like a nice guy. But anywho, he was recently on doing a live or something video. And he was talking about how he doesn't feel like he's worth living for or living because Drake and little baby don't talk to him. Now, as a grown man, you shouldn't be feeling like you're, you're, you're worthless because 
some other grown man doesn't speak to you. You know, that makes no sense to me. And really, you know, and he just had a little baby. You know, I don't know. I mean, well, an actual baby, like a little boy or girl. I'm not sure which one. But that's who you should be trying to live for. You understand what I'm saying? Because what we need to do as people, stop basing your self-worth and your value off of other people's social status. Them not speaking to you. You know, that that's... That's first off, you're not sending a good message out into the world. That's number one. Who cares if those people don't talk to you? Who are they? Okay, because at the end of the day, they are people just like you with a few dollars. That's it. Okay, moving on. Hope you guys checked out my interview with uh, independent artist Ro Will. So my YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. Anyway, that's all the news I have for you today. StellVanInspired.com. And the link is in the bio.